Hey YouTube! And today we are going to be doing the review. I'm sure a lot of people have uh, not really seen these reviews, and I know nobody's going to watch mine, so I, I want to ask you a question. Before you, I, I know there's the assholes in the world, and I know there's the good people in the world, and then there's the people in the middle. Now the people in the middle, and the good people, will listen to me. The assholes will think I'm retarded. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So, basically, what today we're doing DVD versus VHS, and which which one is, which one would you rather have? Personally, sorry, that's bugging me. Hello. Personally, I'd rather have a VHS. So this is um, sorry. Give me a sec. So I've got my collection of VHSs. Okay, they're all under. See that drawer right there? My finger is kind of on it. That big drawer. All, there, all of them are under there. I mean, I've got Ghostbusters. I've got some very good movies under there. And I'll start reviewing them. Because I don't even care if five people watch it. I just enjoy it. And I should really... <laughs> really start doing it again, because I enjoyed it. So, DVDs are smaller, obviously. But, and, um... With, right? Yeah, with. Um... The, the width of it is smaller... Yeah, the width. But the height of it... No, the... Whatever you call this. I mean, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. This is bigger than this, pretty much. So that's points for DVDs. Now, I'm personally rooting for VHS. So, VHS, if you open these... You know what I mean? Let's, let's get, put this back in. You rent... You go to the video store in the 80s, in the 90s, and the 2000s, up to 2000, what, two? And you'd rent movies, and you'd rent something like this. And you'd see, okay, the box is a little beat up, it happens, it's 30 years old, okay? It happens. And you'd open it, and you'd see the tape. Tape's perfectly fine. Why did somebody draw on this? Like... Why? It's such a good movie. Why would you draw on it? I mean, I paid a dollar for it. I don't care. But why did you draw on it? Why did you draw on it? Maybe. With DVDs, you really don't have the problem of somebody drawing on it unless they draw on this part. I mean, who, fl well, who watches Green Lantern? It's such a bad movie. And... We're going into reason number, and then, so, DVDs, you got two stars right now, VHS has none, and I'm personally voting for VHS, and these are all things I've come across. When you give a DVD to a friend, and I'm not even kidding, I've let people loan, I've let people borrow these, and I've never seen them again, <laughs> but sometimes you'll see them again, and you'll, they'll just, you know what I mean, when somebody's putting it in, they'll put it in like this, I'm like, you think you want to smack him upside the head? What are you doing? You're supposed to put it in like this. Or like this. Not like this. Just You might as well just do that to the thing and throw it in there like that. I mean, nobody likes Green Lantern, so that's why this is like my guinea pig for this. And sometimes, at least these things were made out of cardboard. Sometimes, I don't really have an example. Sometimes, with movies, you get them. Like... There'd be no cover. Like, physically, no cover. Like, you just get a blank box, or if you order them on Amazon, you'll just get the disc. It's like, where'd the box go? What did you do to the box to have it gone? Like, so it's just, it's basically just go to my house and throw it right in, just like that, right into my mailbox and say, with a little F U on the front. I might watch this again. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, what did you do? At least with VHS. Uh, at least with VHS, when they didn't come with the little sleeve, it was this. It was less of an FU. Because at least you could store them without getting them scratched. I mean, yeah, you might lose a little bit of this. But as long as you know the name of the movie. Or, or if you just get one of these... If you get one of these for these protective things, one of these protective uh, little cases right here, 
I mean, it's just protecting this movie, but it's still a good movie, actually. You pop it back in there, and everything, and, you know, I, I tried to go into this calm, but I think when I review this stuff, I ain't going in calm. I'm gonna go in calm and come out pissed. I, I don't understand. With movies like Ghostbusters, that are hard to find, if you see one in the case and you can get it for a dollar, you grab onto that thing, and you grab onto it like it's candy. Nah, not candy, candy, but just physically starburst jelly beans, for Christ's sake. You hold on to that thing like it's God. Because, I mean, it's, I mean, when you buy, I know this has nothing to do with DVDs, but now that we're still talking about cases, with cases, at least, it's same thing with video games. You'll get them, and you'll get them like this in the mail, just like another F2. Just throw it right in my mailbox there, because I don't understand. It's not like it's not like the olden days or anything like that, or anything. Really. Oh, I've calmed down a little bit, but still, I am pissed. It's not like back in the day where you could. Same thing with VHS. You pop one of those things open, it gets thrown in the mail like this. It doesn't matter. Because you can literally get one of these protective cases. With DVDs, you've got to get a protective case. And they want 50 cents. I understand that's not a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay? I'm not on welfare or anything. That's a shit ton of money to spend on a case. I, don't, I, I honestly don't get it. How? Case, it's, it's plastic. I'm not giving you 50 cents for a plastic case. I don't, I mean, at least back in the day, video games came like this. Like this. I mean, Clay Fighters, okay, okay. This, this actually is pretty fun. But still, if I wanted to get a protective case for it, back in the day, You'd scroll right in and you give somebody five cents or ten cents or even a quarter and you'd walk out with a protective case. Not fifty cents for a goddamn protective case. I know I've gone a little bit off course, but protective cases actually have nothing to do with any of this. Okay, now let's get back on in a little track. I think VHS deserves three stars, so it's three to two. Just for that, like, reason. Just for, you know, not, not needing a protective case. Obviously, you want one, but you don't need it. If it's a movie you're going to watch four or five times and you get it for 25 cents, there's a difference. But if it's one of those movies, like Scary Movie, that you can get, and you know you'll watch 10 or 11 times, then you get the copy. Now... I don't even know why I have this in my head. We're gonna move on to, to the detail on the box. Ghostbusters. You got your simple Ghostbuster symbol. Not this. Like, I don't care about the... If it's this monster house on it, and I've got three kids that look like they're Jewish, I don't understand why I care. I, I honestly... It's the same thing. You lend your friend this movie. You're not either not gonna see it again. Or you're gonna get it back just like I said. I mean I've lent friends things and have them give me the game the disc back like this. I'm like, where'd my case go? I'm not going back. I'll just spend fifty cents on a case. I'll go out when it's a nickel. I will buy fucking ten thousand of them when they're a nickel. Clearly, VHS deserves another star, so now it's 4 to 2. Quality sound goes to DVDs. It's 3 to 2. I mean, 3 to 4. 4 to 3. Don't you see? Back in the day, obviously you can get this on a DVD, this stuff right here. These two, these three pictures are going to come on a DVD. But you just get that feeling, just to calm down for a second. You know you've got a feeling. Alright? Now when you open it, you get the 
fucking drawing on it. Why did you draw on a VHS tape? You just wake up one day, Jimmy, and just say, fuck it, I'm drawing on all my VHS tapes. I mean, I've this is the first VHS tape I bumped into. You go through my whole goddamn life collection. I don't have one where it's drawn on. Okay, why is this opening? Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. This isn't drawn on. Sure as hell fucking ain't. Actually, this is this is a drawn on one. What did you do? This ain't drawn on. I'll go through my whole goddamn collection. None of them are drawn on. And then you put a, these game protective cases. You gotta find a perfect way to fit it into. And another goodie treat for you there, Timmy. Put that on there. So clearly. We're at three to five. Clearly VHS is one. Because of the nostalgic feeling. And that fucking hardware was a piece of cock. We haven't even touched hardware yet, so the DVDs can win. Hardware is a piece of shit. Freaking, I paid six dollars for my VHS player. But it... Freaking will probably break in the next month and take my copy of Ghostbusters with it! Yeah. Same thing with DVD players. You bump into that fucking thing here, DVD's gone, and so isn't the player! By the time you bought a VHS player that works, movies you know you'll watch, you pay the fucking amount you'll play for the new deal! Blu-ray player! That's what you fucking paid for. Go back to VHS! I don't fucking care if every company goes back to it. Come on, Sony, get back on the fucking boat! Come on, Sony! You shunned.